Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. I'm going to show you uh, Wireshark 2.0 and TCP Follow the Stream. It's uh, slightly uh, different. There's a couple of cool things in there that I think you might be interested in. So let's get right to it. Here we are in Wireshark 2.0. I'm selecting my Ethernet interface and I'm going to double click and I'm capturing packets. Then I go to the techfirm.com and there's a bunch of stuff and I'll click on this too to get more stuff. There we go. So I got all sorts of stuff. I'm going to hit stop. So what I'm going to do is just simply go to the top of the trace file by using the home button and I'm going to find my first TCP SYN packet for port 80 which is HTTP. I'm going to right click on that and go to follow TCP stream. Click and there we are. So for the people who've seen this before, this is uh, relatively uh, not all that different than it was before. The red is from the client, me, see my get command, get. And then the blue is from the server replying to me, which is kind of cool. So a couple of things. Number one, if um, again, this is kind of tricky to show you, so I'm going to do two things at once. I'm going to show you this, pay attention down here at this line, and as I move around, it's telling me packet 18, 16, that sort of thing. So it's telling me what packet number that data is in. Of course, and again, this is kind of cool. If I just click on the blue thing, like head, it's packet 18, it will actually highlight packet 18. Again, it's kind of hard for you to see, but it actually highlighted 18. I'll move down a little further just to show you something different. There you go. Now that's 21, that sort of thing. Um, so that's kind of neat. It's showing me the packet numbers. You click on it, takes you back there. That's also very cool. And then this is different too. You can select your stream by simply advancing the counter. And now I'm stream number one. For the people who don't know this, because the common question is, I don't know what stream it is. If I'm looking at a packet, well, how do I know what stream that is? So let's, let's take a quick look here. If I go to the frame header and we take a look, we'll see. Do you see anything in here about a TCP stream? No. Hmm. Then where the heck is it? Well, let me show you. TCP. So within TCP, I will show you stream index one. There you go. So when you are analyzing some data, TCP data, and it's a stream index 22, for example, a cool display filter is TCP.stream equals, here, you know what? I'll just change this to nine just to randomly change it to something. There we go. And there you go, three packets. So the TCP stream filter gives you a quick, like a TCP conversation filter without having to specify the port numbers, as well as when you right click on a conversation and you do follow the stream. And again, this is obviously not going to do that much of a difference because there's nothing really in it. It also takes the data out of it as well. So I hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.